Hey guys, before I get this video started, I want to let you know that I hired a video editor for my videos. I think in a previous video, you guys heard me say that I've been really backlogged with so much footage. There just always isn't enough time in the day to edit video footage, unfortunately, especially when I'm doing eBay and everything else. So videos might start to look a little bit differently. Um, I would love to hear you guys' feedback on whether you like it, love it, hate it, whatever. Any kind of feedback is greatly appreciated. Uh, just going to change things up a little bit, you know. Try to spice it up, I guess. Uh, the video editor's name is Jonathan Shadnoit. He is a reseller like me, and I'll put his Instagram down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Hey guys, it is a Monday morning, beautiful day outside. So I went ahead and opened up my garage door to let some air in. My neighbor's got dozens of lawn mowers out there, per usual. And I've got about 20 orders to ship out. Let's get to work. All right, first few things here. Um, these are some hats that I never listed. Uh, they were in a video from, I guess, last week. Um, some stuff I picked up at a garage sale. Somebody messaged me on Instagram about them. It is two Baltimore Ravens hats, and I sold a pair to the same buyer for $25 free shipping. These grown hats of your name, Ozzy. Ozzy, thank you for the support. Really hope you like these hats. Next is a pair of boots, uh, size 13. Seems like big sizes tend to do pretty well for me. I got these retail arbitrage. Uh, they were originally $80. I got them 90% off, so they only cost me eight bucks. And they sold for $49.99 plus shipping. All right, next we're going to C1. So a couple things out of here. Let's see, first is silent service for NES right here with the owner's manual and the same buyer got this ghostbusters toy right here these two right here sold for 12.98 plus shipping those two are going out to your name donald donald thank you for your business it means a lot all right something else that's sold out of here is this right here is a uh, dwight figure from the walking dead that sold for 7.99 plus shipping let's go on to viewer named mike he says hi john long time viewer first time buyer my wife and i love watching your videos this figure is for my son. He's a big Walking Dead fan. Keep up the good work, Mike. Mike, thank you so much for the support. Really hope your son likes that figure. Okay, another thing we're pulling out of here is Chicken Little for PS2. Uh, this is part of the stuff I got up in Fort Wayne. So I maybe got a quarter into this. This sold for $8.99, free shipping. Your name Jessica got this for her son, Jonathan. Jessica, thank you for the business. Really hope he likes this game. All right, another thing I sold out of here is a... Um, Swiss gear leather card case. This is also part of the stuff I got up in Fort Wayne. This sold for $11.99, free shipping. Let's go and ask a viewer named Bart. Bart, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. Okay, next thing I'm shipping is down here in B6. I think there's actually a handful of things out of here. Uh, first is a PS2 game, Gun. This is complete with the manual. Got about 25 cents into this. It sold for $8.99, free shipping. Another thing I sold is Dark Cloud for PS2. It's just the disc. Um, no original case or manual or anything. This sold for $8.99 for shipping. Next is over here at A4. This is a Casio label maker, new in the packaging. Got this at a garage sale for a dollar. It sold for $10.99 plus shipping. Let's go out to Keith from Minnesota. Keith, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing is a t-shirt up here in C2. This is the Zek Brown Band. Uh, I got this in a bulk buy, so I've got about $2 into it. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a board game right here. Star Wars Operation, new in the plastic. Part of that big buy of stuff I got up in Fort Wayne. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Let's go down to a viewer named Randy who has bought a lot of stuff for me in the past. Randy, thank you for the continued support. Hope you like the board game. The okay, next thing is in C3. This is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for Game Boy Advance. This sold for $8.99 free shipping. Next is way down here at F6. It is a CD soundtrack, actually, for Street Fighter. This sold for $19.99, free shipping. Next thing's back here in F4. These are two spark plugs. Pick these up, clearance to retail arbitrage for about a quarter a piece. Uh, the pair sold for $8.99, free shipping. Next thing is an NES console, and I'm trying to remember where I put it. There it is. I got this in Fort Wayne along with all the other stuff that I bought and I plugged it in, had a game, you know, tried to test the game with it and it just flashed, you know, the red light flash wouldn't play a game. And more often than not, that's the 72 pin connector that needs replaced. However, if you buy it and replace it and do the whole thing, you're not guaranteed that it's going to work. It seems like, I don't know, 60, 70% of the time that it works when you do that. So I opted to not even 
waste the money to buy the thing and waste the time to fix it and all that just you know on the chance that it might not work so i sold it as is put in the description you know that the red light flashes and everything it has uh four controllers the power cord rf switch all that stuff and sold for 49.99 plus shipping all right, i sold something else on f6 i guess i could have just got it when i got another thing it is an nes game Let's see here dragon warrior with the owner's manual this sold for 11.99 for shipping next is up here in d8 it is a dorbs figure let's see it is a little mermaid variant this one right here uh this sold for 11.99 plus shipping let's go and ask a viewer named austin he says thank you so much for this my family and i love your youtube channel if you had any stickers from your channel could i get a couple for the family Austin, I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. Thank you so much for your support. These things down here in C5. It is an old photography book. I think it's down here at the very bottom. There it is. Yeah, 1944 American Annual of Photography. I bought this about a year ago. It was a book buy of some books and some other stuff. This sold for $11.99 plus shipping. All right, last thing we're pulling is an A2. It is a Blackjack Master Game by Radica. If you guys ever find these new in the plastic and they're cheap just pick them up because they tend to do pretty well um this one's not as valuable as some of the other ones but it did sell for 13.99 free shipping it's tuesday morning and i have about a dozen ebay orders to ship out but first i've got a handful of questions from viewers i'm going to answer first is from smarky heel hi john i'm a fairly new viewer to the channel and have been going through your videos for a few weeks now i was wondering you clearly enjoy picking but what is or are your long-term goals is picking something you could see yourself doing for the next 10 years, or do you have an end game? Keep up the good work. That is a really good question. So I've been reselling now on either part-time or full-time basis for like 18 years. It's been a really long time, and I absolutely love it. It's still a passion of mine. I just really enjoy doing it. It just doesn't really feel like work. So I don't think I'll ever stop doing it. I think this will always be my job, and I really don't know if I ever see myself retiring necessarily. You know, this is something that you can do that's not labor intensive. And I don't know, as long as I enjoy it, I still plan on doing it. And as long as I can support my family doing it, that's definitely my plan. I've had a business where I had employees and everything. And I just felt like the amount of time, effort and overhead and money and everything that I had to put into it just wasn't well suited for my family. And you know, after years of doing that, I decided to just go to a one man operation because I can kind of work as much or as little as I need to in a given week and things still flow smoothly. So I like things the way they are right now and for the foreseeable future, I don't plan on changing them. Next is from Silverman. You don't miss things on the weekend. Is that a business decision? I would think more people would buy on eBay on the weekend. What is your typical listing length? Thanks, love your style. So there's two questions there. First is asking uh, why I don't list on the weekends. So I try to treat this like a normal job, Monday to Friday, kind of like, you know, eight to five type hours. And on the weekends, I don't work. The only thing I do on the weekends is Saturday morning, I go to garage sales. But besides that, it's all family time. And same with when I leave here. When I leave the warehouse at like five o'clock for the day, the rest of the time for the nights with the family. So. I like it that way because otherwise it can just get out of hand and I'm, you know, putting too much time into work. I do think a lot of people buy stuff on the weekends, but you know, if I'm getting all my listings done during the week, then there's going to be stuff for them to buy in my store on the weekends. Second question, what is your typical listing length? I think what you're asking is how long does an item normally sit in my store before it sells? Um, there's probably a way to measure that in the eBay uh, metrics and everything to see exactly what the answer is. So I might have to look into that, but I'd say generally speaking, maybe two or three months stuff typically sells pretty quick. I price things to sell. You know, I don't like sitting on things for years. Obviously there's exceptions to that. Uh, yearbooks is one thing that comes to mind. Uh, some things, no matter how cheap you price, it's not going to make it sell any faster. You're just waiting for that right person to come along. But Generally speaking, my stuff usually sells pretty quick. Okay, this last one is from Paul Burns. John, how do you determine your pricing on your items in your booths? So he's talking about my antique booths, and I do the same thing there. I price stuff to sell. Uh, I Before I even started the booths, I walked around all the other booths in the mall just to kind of get a gauge of what some things were priced at. And if you guys have ever been to antique malls, you know that 
for the most part, things are kind of overpriced. So I try to be under that. I try to be about 20% less than what most of the antique booths are selling stuff at because I want things to move. And I really have no shortage of inventory to keep stocking that, you know, both booths. Um, I've got, you know, at any given time, you know, 100 to 150 records to replenish it and at least 40 or 50, you know, other random pieces to fill it back up with. So I try to move things pretty quick. I price it to where I can still make some good money on it, but be competitive with the other booze prices. So I want people to get a good deal and I want to make some money at the same time. All right, time to ship some orders. First thing I already pulled, this actually isn't an eBay order. This is uh, something that's a viewer reached out to me that wanted, this is that black clover hat that I got new with the tags at a garage sale last weekend for a dollar. And I sold it to him for $20 free shipping. Let's go on to viewer named Ron. Ron, thank you for the support. Really hope you like the hat. Question I get asked a lot is how do I ship hats? Um, I've shown it before, but I'd say it's probably been a couple months since I have, so I will go ahead and show you guys how I do it. All right, so the box I use for hats are eight by six by four. Keep that taped up. And I use poly bags for the hat. So I'm gonna put the hat in a poly bag. I've heard of some people that ship hats in uh, like bubble mailers or poly bags without a box. I personally don't like doing that just because I don't want the hat to get crushed, you know, in transit. I put the uh, so I put the hat in the box, close it up. And it's good to go. If you guys don't have poly bags or smaller boxes like that, they can be really good tools to ship out a variety of things. I'll put a link down in the description for both of them. Okay, first eBay order is down here in C5. There's a chance that I sold more than one thing out of here. This is what I was listening in yesterday. Uh, let's see, first thing is three spoons. There they are. These are the um, old Mickey and Minnie Mouse spoons I got at that garage sale last weekend. I think I got about $4 into these three, and they sold for $19.99 free shipping. Correction, they sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing we're pulling out of here is this Harry Potter puzzle. This is brand new sealed. Got this at a garage sale last weekend for five bucks. It sold for $16.99 plus shipping. Your name Michael bought that puzzle. He says, hi, John. We love watching you on YouTube. This is for my son for Christmas. Take care and God bless you and your family. Michael, thank you so much for the kind words. I really hope your son likes that puzzle. Okay, next thing we're pulling out of here is that Mark's Toys Disney wind-up train. Got this at a garage sale last weekend as well. Paid $10 for it. It sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Your name Brandon bought that for his dad. Brandon, thank you for the business. Really hope your dad likes that train. Okay, at least one more thing sold out of here. It is this Twinkie container. Got this at the same sale where I got those Mickey spoons. I paid 50 cents for this. It sold for $11.99 free shipping. Viewers, Dennis and Sarah bought this. Guys, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, that's it for C5 put that away next thing i'm pulling is a big one this guy right here this is an antique ambulance box medical department usa really cool i could not find anything similar to it online i originally thought about putting it in my booth but the more i thought about it i went ahead and just decided to put it on ebay um i priced it at 99.99 plus shipping and it sold rather quickly i might underprice it but i've only got ten dollars into it so i'm pretty happy to sell it at that all right next thing i'm pulling is this hat right here the box actually says mallory but it is not made by mallory it is a stetson this is just the box that it was in when i bought it i got this from danny and parker up in piqua i picked through their shop and bought a whole bunch of stuff um, this is a really nice hat in pretty good condition. This sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Next is a pair of boots over here in B4. Pretty funky boots. Kind of kind of a cool look to them. I got these about a year ago as part of a bulk buy, and they just took a while to sell. Uh, these are Nomad Cowgirl ro like Rodeo Western Rain Boots. 
Uh, these sold for $19.99 plus shipping. <laughs> Last thing I'm shipping out is right here. This is a Toshiba VCR DVD player. Had the remote and I had an AV cord and a uh, brand new sealed VHS tape, so I threw that in there to add the value a little bit. Got this at a garage sale two weekends ago for $5. It sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Got a message from the buyer on that VCR I wanted to share with you guys. Could you please not include any invoice price because this is a gift? Uh, could you also please ship the package out ASAP? And we'd like to have the tracking number when you ship. Thank you so much. Uh, try to clean the item is like new. Fully testing, packing, bubble wrap, blah, 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 blah. So I get these messages every once in a while. And... It's never a gift. What they're doing is they're drop shipping. So they're buying it from me, selling it to somebody else for more, except that I'm shipping it to that other person. I'm not shipping it to the buyer themselves. So it's something that a lot of people do. It doesn't bother me one bit. If somebody else makes money on it, it doesn't really matter. I'm happy to flip it and make profit. Uh, just wanted to point that out to you guys. If you get a weird message like that from somebody, that's what's going on. Okay, next thing is an A1. This is a rain digital uh, delay. This is part of that big uh, audio video buy I made last year. I actually had two of these in that buy. Only one of them had the power cord, so I was able to test this one and it did work, but I had to sell it without the power cord. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next is a couple video games. First is in C3. It is Bomberman Max 2 for Game Boy Advance. And the next is over here in F6 see here it is duck hunt somewhere down in here that's not it i don't think that's it here it is has the manual and everything some buyer bought these two games for 22.98 free shipping those two games are going to have to be named michael and he says hi john wanted to show my support by buying these games from you i've been selling part-time for over a year and your videos and advice have taken my selling to the next level my ebay store is civic racing 003 and i sell just about anything Michael, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, we're going back to C3. So this Cabbage Patch doll. It's actually like a little miniature one. They called them pinups. Got this at a garage sale a few weeks ago for five bucks. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in B6. It is a Carnival Magic cruise ship. I got this at a garage sale about three weeks ago. I paid four dollars. It sold for $99.99 plus shipping. I had no idea it was worth that much when I bought it, but these are definitely something to keep an eye out for. I also sold this Mickey Mouse figure down in here. Uh, let's see, Mickey Mouse. He's got a little camera and everything. I paid three dollars for this at a garage sale about two months ago, and it sold for $14.99. That's going out to viewer named David, and he says, Hi John, love your YouTube content. You inspired me to convert my slightly popular gaming YouTube channel to a picking channel as well. I've been doing flipping for years, but finally decided to chronicle some of my adventures. I would love for you to check out my content. The channel is NC Picker. I will definitely check it out. Thank you so much for the support. Before I end this video, I've got some viewer mail I want to open up. First is from the Philly Picker. got a note here. John, I just want to send you a little something to say thank you for sharing all your knowledge with us on YouTube. I found a bunch of MLB sunglasses the other day at the Goodwill. The last pair I found in the bag was a Cincinnati Reds pair. I figured you could use these while out at yard sales on Sunday mornings or maybe just on your shelf at the warehouse. The whole family enjoys watching your videos. I've been selling on eBay seriously for about two years and started my own YouTube channel, The Philly Picker, about 10 months ago. Thanks again for everything you do. I'm looking forward to the reseller rally next year. All right, let's check this out. Oh, these are sharp. New with the tag still too. Joe, thank you so much. These are really cool. Okay, next is from Rodney. All right, we got a letter here. John came across these and thought of you. Hope you enjoy them and they fit. If not, I figured you could sell them. Thanks so much for countless hours of entertainment and laughs. I have learned a lot. How about a shout out for my eBay store if you can. Great bargains for you all. Thanks, Rodney and family. Oh, wow. These are cool. There's a Black Ridge jersey. I don't see black ones that often. That's awesome. Here is a Nike button-up jersey. These are really nice, Rodney. Thank you. And yes, I'll definitely put a link down below for your eBay store if everybody else wants to check it out. Okay, next is from Ben. 
I've been a part-time eBay seller for 16 years, booth antique seller for 10 plus years, and woods craftsman my entire life. I've been watching your YouTube videos for the past year or so. I enjoy your peers at Shed Garage Flips and the Tesla Picker. I like those guys too. I've been trying to progressively grow my sales so that one day I might be able to quit the office grind. I came across a pendant that I thought you might enjoy. Unfortunately, it is folded and I doubt the fold lines will come out. It looks like it is in its original condition and unused. I don't follow sports very close and I don't know much about history of the team. Uh, please accept this gift as a small token my appreciation of your video content and production. In case you have time to check out my eBay shop, you can find me at XR Resell or XR Woodworks. Sincerely, Ben. You packed this pretty well, Ben. Seventy-five. That is sharp. Got the team photo and everything. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate it, man. Yes, I'll definitely check out your eBay store, and I'll link it down below as well. All right. Last but not least is from Joe. So this is a big box of vintage pennants. Look at there's a bunch of them in there. So Joe reached out to me saying he had a bunch of these pennants, and he didn't have time to mess with them. Didn't really feel like listening to him because he's got tons of records and all kinds of other stuff that he was listening and didn't want to mess with these. And so I told him, yep, I would love to have them. I'd be happy to pay you for them. And he said they were just free, his gift to me. So Joe, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. And he sent his card too. Lally Distributing. He's down in Florida and he has an eBay store as well. Uh, eBay is Lally Dist. So I will put a link down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.